the thorny devil. You might wonder how the thorny devil got its name. Of course, the spikes on the lizard's skin look like thorns, so the thorny part's not hard to understand. But why is it called devil? In 1841, a man named John Gray named the lizard Moloch Horridus. Gray named the lizard after the Canaanite god Moloch because of the two horns that protrude out of the lizard's head. The term horridus, it can mean rough or spiky, or it can mean terrible or dreadful. While the thorny devil may look dreadful, it happens to be very easygoing and slow-moving, and humans can handle it, and it doesn't become aggressive. Not only is the thorny devil very unique in the way that it looks, but God also equipped this little wonder with some amazing tools and skills. The thorny devil lives in the deserts of central Australia, and water is often very difficult to find. In order for the thorny devil to make the most of any water that it comes across, God specially designed the lizard's skin. Along the lizard's body, there are hundreds of tiny little channels, and they all lead to the corners of the lizard's mouth. When water touches the skin of a thorny devil, anywhere on its back, on its leg, on its foot, the tiny grooves suck up the water by using something called capillary action. Think about it like this. Suppose you spill a glass of water and use a paper towel to clean it up. When you dip the paper towel into the water, the water seeps up the towel to the parts that are not even touching the water. Also, it's like putting a wick in oil, and the oil seeps up all the way through the wick, even the parts that aren't touching the oil. In the same way, the thorny devil sucks up water. So if the thorny devil wants to take a drink, it can simply step on water and then use a sucking motion and suck up the entire puddle and bring the water to its mouth with these tiny little channels. It never even has to put its mouth in the water. This ability keeps the lizard alive because any dew or moisture on plants or in the sand can be taken in this way without ever having to drink in what we would think of as a traditional way. Now, Also, God gave the thorny devil several interesting ways to defend itself. Of course, the most obvious is that the thorny devil is covered with spiky skin and thorns. Just think, if you were a predator, would you want to eat something that looks like a pincushion full of sharp spikes? Well, I wouldn't either. Also, in addition to its spikes, the thorny devil has a false head on its neck just behind its real head. This false head is large and it's spiky. And when the thorny devil is threatened, it can lower its real head between its two front legs and raise its false head to look like its head. By doing this, it protects its important organs and makes its spiky head look much more difficult for a predator to swallow. You know, as, as if that weren't enough. The thorny devil can puff itself up by sucking in air so that it looks even bigger and more impressive to a predator, and the pincushion just gets expanded. And maybe you were wondering what this prickly little critter eats. Hmm. Ants. And that's it. Ants all the time. For every meal. Every day. But it can sure eat a lot of them. A thorny devil finds a trail where ants are walking. Then it positions itself along the trail so that it can stick out its sticky tongue and catch one ant at a time. Now it's so fast that it can catch 45 ants per minute. And some people say that it can eat 1,000 to 3,000 ants per meal. Now, that is one ant-loving, bristly lizard. I'd hate to be an ant that came across the thorny devil's path. The thorny devil is a great example of God's amazing design. False ideas about mindless evolutionary processes, they can't ever explain the thorny devil's amazing skin and effective defense system. Now, only God could create such an interesting ingeniously designed creature that can thrive in desert climates. The thorny devil is a big thorny problem for people who refuse to recognize God's design in nature.